In this video, we're going to solve 2002 AP Calculus AB FRQ question form B, number 4. So we're given the graph of f. It says the graph of a differentiable function, f, is on the closed interval from negative 3 to 15 as shown above. The graph of f has a horizontal tangent at line equals 6. But g of x equals 5 plus that integral from 6 to x f of t dt for negative 3, which is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 15. It says find g of 6. So good thing is it gave us the equation. So g of 6, let me write that down over here, is going to be 5 plus the integral of 6 to 6 f of t dt. So when you do this, it went nowhere. From 6 to 6, it went nowhere. So g of 6 is going to equal 5. Now I want us to find g prime of 6. g prime of 6 is going to equal f of 6, because the derivative of g prime is f of x. And that's how you can tell by the integral above. So f of 6 is a height of 3. It's this, the height of 3. Now I want you to find g double prime of 6. g double prime of 6 is going to equal f prime of 6. So now we have to look at this graph and look at the slope over here. What is the slope over here? It's 0. Okay, part b. On what intervals is g decreasing? Justify your answers. So this is a graph of the derivative. So in order to figure out where it's decreasing, you have to look to see where it's below the x-axis. So it's going to be decreasing from negative 3 to 0. Also on the interval from 12 to 15. And I should use brackets here. Okay, so this is where it's decreasing, and the reason for that is you're going to say g prime of x is equal to f of x, which is less than 0. It's below the x-axis, like I said before. So c, it says on what intervals of the graph g is concave down. So now g is basically the position function f is the derivative, which is velocity. So acceleration is what we need to look for, or f prime. So we're going to say g double prime of x is equal to f prime of x. And where is that going to be less than 0? And that's going to be less than 0 everywhere here from 6 to 15. I'm sorry I couldn't really sketch out all that well. Okay, so that's that part. <coughs> part D says find a trapezoidal approximation from negative 3 to 15 f of t, f of t dt using six subintervals of length delta t equals 3. Okay, so give me one second while I move this so I get a little bit more canvas space. Okay, so now when you do this, basically the trapezoidal formula is h over 2, uh, whatever the first height is, which is going to be negative 1. I'm getting that negative 1 over here. Plus 2 times the next height, which is 0. Plus the next height, which is 2 times 3. All of these are going to be doubled except for the endpoints, plus 2 times 3. I just did, no, I'm sorry, this one should be a 1. 2 times 1, plus 2 times 3, plus the next one is 2 times mm, 1. Let me put that over here, plus 2 times 0. 
plus 2 times negative 1. Oh, actually, that's just negative 1, plus negative 1. Now, h is going to be 3 because it gave us delta t is 3. So now I'm going to put it over here. So 3 halves, negative 1, plus 0, plus 2, plus 6, plus 2, plus 0, minus 1. So now we're going to get negative 1, 2 is 1, uh, 7, 9, 8. So 8 times 3, 24. 24 divided by 2 is 12. Our answer is 12. I hope this video helped.